welcome back to my channel. It is that time again where we are going thrifting, but I'm super pumped though. I think this is gonna be a good day too, but of course we'll see. As always, I'll put the timestamp right here if you wanna fast forward right to the haul. But without further ado, let's go thrifting. So Goodwill was the first stop of the day and I was eager to see what was there. I saw this mortar and pestle bowl. I was so enamored by it, but it was $15 and that was just a little too high for me. I did however find this ceramic, thought it was adorable and although the price could have been better, I decided to pick it up. I also saw this ceramic right here too. Love the detail on it. Looked really aged and worn and I love that look, but ultimately decided not to grab it. And this piece was so interesting, I wasn't sure what it was. Really love the texture of it though. I also stumbled across this light wooden bowl. I was so tempted to pick it up and originally put it in my cart, but last minute switched it out for something else. I also found this piece, really loved the shape, it was just an interesting piece. I also found this cup that was gorgeous. I love the color of it and the detail of it, but no price tag meant that I couldn't pick it up. I also found this bowl, really liked the color actually. Wasn't sure what it was used for, but style wise, I really liked it. And this piece, while beautiful, I have no idea what it was actually used for, but still cool nonetheless. And I was actually really happy when I found these old wooden spoons. I thought they were adorable. I am just really into like older vintage antique type pieces. So that was a definite grab for me. And fake plants are something that I always gravitate towards. I really like this fake snake plant. Just thought it was a cute piece for someone like me though because it doesn't require any sunlight or water. And this simple styling piece was really cool. A very simple design, but I still really loved it. And thankfully, I decided to look on the bottom shelf because I found these adorable candlestick holders. And a shelf above that, these ones caught my eye as well. In the lamp section, I was really drawn to this lamp, but unfortunately, there was only one of them, so I passed on it. And despite the fact that the shelves were stocked with frames, I didn't find any that really spoke to me. I did, however, find this hexagon mirror that I thought was beautiful, but unfortunately, the price was just a little too high for my bank account. And last but not least, I looked in the art section, and I ended up finding this piece that was just too cute to not take home with me. I did get quite a few things, spent a little bit more than I thought I was going to spend, uh, but I did find a really good find that I did not know about until I used the Google Lens, so woo! So I'm going to head over to another place to check out what their inventory looks like. So let's head on over. So the last time I went to this thrift store, I passed up on an amazing quilt. So I had to take a look at the blankets, but nothing of interest, unfortunately, was there. I did, however, really love this lamp. It was just a beautiful shape and would have been a great piece and do a DIY with. And recently I've been stumbling across these type of frames really often actually, but they're such a unique style that I'm always intrigued enough to take a look at them. I also stumbled across this oil lamp. It's such a smaller size than what I normally see, but last minute I decided not to grab it. And I will say this thrift store is never lacking when it comes to plates and cups. They have that in abundance. And as I was about to leave, I stumbled across this cute Pyrex bowl. It was just something that I had to have. And oddly enough, it's the color that sold me. So the second place was rather small. I went through it rather quickly, so there wasn't a lot of footage. However, I will say I got one thing and bonus. I got free flowers, so I'm super happy. This actually put a smile on my face. But flowers aside, we do have one more stop of the day, so let's head on over. So last stop of the day was Artique. I've been here before. They have some great vintage and antique items. Though it is a mixed bag, you can find a lot of new age pieces here as well. So I always try my best to carefully look through every single booth. As I was looking through the store, I noticed this cute, adorable bench. Really loved the wood frame of it. I was also quite fond of this red blanket with the pom-poms, but unfortunately couldn't find a price anywhere. And I managed to find a stack of older books, so I had to take a look. Fortunately, the cheapest price there was $11, so that was just a little too high for my liking, and so I put it back. 
Also truly fond of this teapot right here. Love the colors of it and the handle, but of course I am refraining from buying any more kettles anytime soon. And I truly love this decanter. $19 wasn't a price I was willing to pay for it though, which was unfortunate because I really liked it. I also liked the vintage bottle next to it, which was also a little high in price. So unfortunately today was not the day to find some good prices. And the ceramic was really adorable. The color of it, as well as just the shape of it, was really eye-catching. And I managed to stumble across quite a few blankets in this particular store. Looking back at it now, I do regret it because I did leave some great pieces behind. Some of them would have been great to take home with me. There were actually quite a few vintage pieces that caught my eye at the store though, such as this scale. And to my surprise, this corner shelf was being sold. It was actually discounted from its regular price and I thought that was a pretty good price to pay. And this old style toaster was amazing. Honestly, this is the great place to go if you're into vintage cookware. But the last thing I stumbled across were these salt and pepper shakers. I'm not sure what it was, but something about them just made me want to take them home with me. So finishing up recording on my phone because my camera died, I found two things at this last place. So I'm gonna stop rambling on and we're just gonna jump to it. So with that being said, it's surf talk time. Okay, so first up is this ceramic right here. I really love ceramics and I really love homemade pieces. This one might have been made in like a pottery class, but love the brown, love the white, love the speckled detail of it. The shape is adorable as well. It was $4.99, which is okay. I don't think that's an awful price. I think it could have been cheaper. $3.99 is probably where I think it should have been, but that's literally like a dollar less, so I don't know why I'm complaining. <laughs> Maybe $2.99. But I do think this is a cute piece to have styled somewhere. You can put some greenery in it, or it can be styled by itself. My thought is maybe like putting it on a coffee table on top of a stack of books. Next up are these candlestick holders. Obviously I love my candlestick holders, I love my taper candlestick holders, but something about these just really spoke to me. I really love the fact that they just have like a hammered look, so it looks like it's hammered metal. Honestly been drawn to a lot of things that have that kind of style, so that was kind of cool. Definitely more of a contemporary piece, but really thought they were great. The color is almost like a smoky bronze, if that makes sense. I don't know if anything that I'm saying is making sense today, but that's where my mind is going, so I'm sticking to it. I like the fact that they're different heights. They're also, if you look at them, they're a different style too. So this top piece kind of like flares out, and this one is a little bit different in style. But regardless, thought they were a cute duo, so I wanted to pick them up. Now the price. The price could have been better. This larger one was $9.99, and this one was $8.99. I really don't know why I spent $19 for these two pieces, but you know what? I did not look at the prices before I put them in my cart, and I probably should have. But regardless, really love them. Yes, I spent way too much on them. Am I still happy that I bought them, though? I think so. Next up is this accordion style peg rack. I actually already have one of these, but this one is a smaller style than the one that I have. I actually featured it in one of my top favorite finds as well, but that one's currently residing on my foyer. I just really love them. I love the style of them, and so I had to pick another one up. So I was thinking this one could actually be great for my laundry room, just to kind of have a simple system for hanging up some pieces that I want to air dry. It's a small size, obviously, so it's not incredibly big, but I do think it's the perfect size for what I'm looking for. So this one was $3.99. Again, I don't think that's awful. I think that's pretty good. I don't think it's a reproduction. I think this might be at least 20 years old. So I'm gonna call it vintage. I think it's adorable and yeah, I love it. $3.99 though for an accordion peg rack I think is pretty good. Considering I spent $4.99 on that little ceramic, I think this was a pretty good deal. Next up are these twisty candlesticks. I just really love them. Very interesting, but I've been really interested in like seeing people like carve candlesticks. I watched those videos for some reason, but saw these and I was just like, oh, that's so cool. I just think they're adorable. I really do want to kind of branch out when it comes to my candlesticks. And I feel like these are just so cute 
and add a little bit of whimsy to your rooms. I just had to have them because of that. Don't have the sticker. I took the sticker off already because they were taped up, but I'm pretty sure these were $1.99, so $1.99 is fair for candlesticks. It's probably around what I normally see for a pair and 99 cents a piece for just one, so. I think $1.99 though for a very unique set of candlesticks is actually pretty good, so yeah. I'm not mad at it. Next up are these adorable candlestick holders. I saw these and I was just like, what? I was pretty confident that these were vintage when I picked them up. I did a little research on them now. Found a listing on Etsy. Someone on Etsy is actually trying to sell them for $95, which is wow. But they have them labeled as mid-century modern candlestick holders of a geometric kind of design. But I do really love the shape of them. These are just so different from anything that I have currently as far as candlestick holders go that I had to pick them up. I was just like, yeah, these are me. Like, this is my style. I kind of want them. Random in my home, but so cool in person. I just think they're awesome. But I really love the circle shape, but I also really love this piece right here, this kind of upside down pyramid style. So I'm not sure what this material is, but I'm pretty confident this is brass. So technically it does check off the boxes for brass candlestick holders. So these were $8.99 for the pair, which I think is pretty good considering I'm seeing it on Etsy for $95. But just really love this design. It's so unique to me that I don't see this kind of style often considering I spent $19 on the other pair. I think this was the better deal. Okay, next up are just simple wooden spoons. I just really love these older style spoons. I really am looking for more like kitchen styling items. I mean, they're wood, they're organic pieces, so I really like that. This one right here literally looks like it was carved, it was handmade, and using like a just a sharp tool that just carved it out themselves. I don't know if you can see that, but like that organic look of it, just love it. Couldn't tell you how old this piece is, but I think it's safe to say that this is indeed vintage. Probably even older than 20 years old. Great shape and the wooden handle on it is still in really good shape too. Now this one was $3.99, which I don't think $3.99 is awful. I think could have been cheaper, sure. And would I have liked it to be cheaper? Sure, but I do think $3.99 is fair. Although it might seem like a really strange buy, I will say I'm really happy with it. And the other spoon is this one. Okay, I love this shape. I don't know what the intent of this kind of spoon was, but this is awesome. I love the shape of the spoon itself, the little opening right here. Honestly, the carving in it is a little bit smoother. For me, this is just a cute styling piece. This is definitely something that I would love to have in my kitchen, so I had to pick this one up. This one was also $3.99 though. Again, would have liked it to be cheaper, but it is fair. I mean, honestly, adorable. Sometimes I just can't put a price on adorable. And next up is this picture right here. I actually already put it in the frame, but this was a watercolor painting. So it was originally in this matte backing right here. It is an original design and a painting of Moongate at Elbow Beach Hotel. And this is a pretty old piece. It says the copyright is 1979. I really love like this architectural detail, which is obviously Obviously, the moon gate. I already had this frame and I was looking for kind of like smaller style pictures specifically for styling on my bookshelves so when I saw this one I was just like oh this is so beautiful but I really love the colors coming through this it actually has a lot of greens just really beautiful and eye-catching to look at as you can see on here it says it was $2.99 I think that's pretty fair though so I picked it up and the last thing that I got at Goodwill was this wooden bowl set now if you know me if you've seen previous videos I have quite a few wooden bowl sets I actually plan on giving up a wooden bowl set. The wooden bowl sets that I have though are a little bit more boxy than what I would like, but I really love these. Part of it is just like the rim, the fact that it's not like a symmetrical rim. The fact that it kind of like divots and comes up I thought was really cool. Just a little bit more organic in its shape. These wooden bowls are actually genuine teak wood too, and I really love teak wood wooden bowls. When I saw that, I was sold. This one will be more practical for me because I can actually use these essentially like a salad bowl set. Now, now I got one large bowl and four of these smaller bowls for $9.99. I think that's a pretty fair price for teak wood and just a really gorgeous set. I was super happy to pick this one up. I think this is great. Just love the wood grain on it. Like I said, I really love the more organic cut of these bowls. I'd gladly swap in this set and swap out one of the other sets. So the next place I went to was a small little thrift store. I only bought one thing from there and got like the flowers as you saw, but I did pick 
pick up this cute vintage Pyrex bowl. I've been passing up on a lot of vintage style Pyrex bowls, the ones with the detail on them. I love these styles, but I've been looking for the clear rib style. So I've been passing them up because a lot of people out there collect these styles. If it's something that I don't feel like I'm gonna use, I'd rather not pick it up and I'd rather have someone else who really loves that style and is really looking for them find it. But I really love this style. I love the design on it for one. I am very much like a neutral colored person like most of my home. In its current state, it's mostly neutral. However, something is changing in my brain though. Even with the $10 price tag, obviously this is not a piece that I'm picking up to kind of resell at all. But if that was my intention, it probably would have been a bad investment to buy it at this price. However, this one is just a really cute design. I really love it. It just really spoke to me and so that's why I picked it up even though it was $10. Although this is the only thing that I got from that thrift store. I'm still really glad that I went there and looked around. I think it's just fun to look around sometimes even if you don't end up buying anything. And the last place I went to was Artique. I've been there before and so I went there again because I had luck the last time I went there. However, I will say I think I went a touch too soon. The vendors that I do like there, they hadn't restocked their inventory yet so I was looking at basically the same things. However, there were two items that I ended up picking up that I got. First thing I got was this shelf right here, this corner shelf. I think this is just kind of one of those things that although my house changes a lot when it comes to style, I will say I'm always drawn to these pieces. I'm not sure why, I just think they're really beautiful. Although I really love wood in its natural state, I will say when it's painted like this too, I don't mind it at all. So I picked this one up. This one was originally, I think it was like $22.95 and the seller must have wanted to move things out because this was only priced for $5. So $5, I think it's pretty good. Obviously I thrift enough that I probably need more shelving anyways, but I do think this was a good piece and a good grab for $5. And last but not least is probably one of my favorite finds of this haul, even though it makes absolutely no sense to my style in particular, but something about it was just like, that is so um, so I picked up these retro style salt and pepper shakers. These are adorable. I mean, I think it's a combination of the color, the shape, and the pattern on it that was just like, yes, I want these. I don't know if it's like oranges. I think they're probably oranges painted or maybe like clementines or something like that, but really gorgeous. Color wise, I have nothing in my kitchen that is this color, this style, but regardless, these vintage pieces were definitely gonna find a home. These were $5.99 and I just did a quick Google Google Lens search and saw like $21. So I think I bought pretty low. So I'm pretty happy about that. They are actually in pretty good condition too. So drastically different from what I normally go for when it comes to like home decor and just things in my home. However, love that I picked these up. So not a lot of things, but I did pick up things that I really loved. Found a couple of vintage items, which I'm always happy about, but also picked up a few pieces that stylistically doesn't make a lot of sense to me, but oddly enough, think it was the right call to pick them up. But if you liked this video, or if you liked anything from the haul, definitely make sure you give it a thumbs up. Also, I'll link below for you another video to watch if you're new here, or if you're just interested in watching more thrift hauls, this is a good follow up. But I wanna say thank you so much for watching, and thank you for thrifting with me. I hope you enjoyed it. And so I will see you in the next one. Bye. Next up are these babies. <laughs> That actually hurts. I'm pretty sure these were five. Was almost done.